Welcome to prehistoric days of King Domino, when mammoths and cavemen ruled the world. Today I will introduce you to King Domino Origins. This game is an improved version of already well-known board game King Domino. It can be played from 2 to 4 players and can last around 25 minutes. It is based on classic domino working principles. Here you will have to take one of four tiles from the middle of the table and connect it to your homeland by using the same edges of the tile. For example, snowland with snowland or desert land with desert land. Tiles are reserved by taking off your player figure and putting it on a new tile column. Then emptied tile is connected to your homeland. Your land must also not exceed 5x5 size territory. King Domino has three different game modes. In the first mode, points are calculated by this formula. Each terrain territory number is multiplied by flame symbols in that territory. Some tiles have a volcano on them, which can shoot from 1 to 3 flames in the areas around them. The biggest volcano can shoot 3 flames in the nearest ground and the smallest can shoot one flame by distance of three squares. Extra 10 points can be earned if a tribe house is in the center of the whole land and 5 points for no gaps in the territory. Second mode has the same rules as the first one but resource mechanics are added. Each resource in your land earns one victory point. Also the player with the most resource of one kind gets totems which can earn from 3 to 6 victory points. Resources are appearing automatically whenever a resource tile is opened. Third mode is adding cavemen in the game. They can be bought by resources from your territory. You can pay any two resources for displayed cavemen or four resources to pick from the whole supply stack. Bought cavemen go directly to your field and earn points from resources that are next to them. At the end of the game, points are calculated by each scoring category and the player with the most victory points is the winner. This game has easy and good written rules. Three different modes lets you adapt accordingly to player's experience or age. Wooden components just look outstanding with their printed finish on them. The game box is not too big and has intelligently planned insert as well. The game price is definitely worth what you get in terms of gameplay and components, which should be around 30 euros or dollars in 2022. However, I'm not a big fan of the theme itself. As an abstract game, it could easily have been any other theme for me. Thank you for watching and until next time.